during this time i did internships at optum and samsung and got pre placement offers from them and off campus i've got offers from apple and microsoft next round was again like 45 minutes round which was an rrk round like role related knowledge again the questions were around networking the questions were like what is netstat what is dns hi everyone this is ashwell today i have with me pail she has completed her engineering from Harper Institute of Technology and she has got some amazing offers she has got an offer from Samsung she has got an offer from Microsoft she has got an offer from Optum as well as from Google and she has finally joined Google as a strategic cloud engineer so in this podcast we are going to discuss with her her entire preparation strategy what were the number of interview rounds in some of these processes how she finally landed an offer with Google and what are her roles and responsibilities at Google so before starting this video i would just like to have a brief introduction of pai Okay hi Ash thank you for having me first of all thank you for having me here i've been following your page and it has really helped me in getting some opportunities so it's pleasure to be here thank and you. a little about myself as you already told i've recently completed my graduation from thapar and i did during this time i did internships at optum and samsung and got pre placement offers from them and off campus i've got offers from google and microsoft okay great that's that's great to hear like your entire journey we'll talk about your offers but the first and the most important thing that i have been asked a lot about is strategic cloud engineer like i don't have much information about this role but many people have pinged me about this role when there was an opening or when recruiter reached out for this particular role so i would like to understand about this particular role what was the entire process behind this the hiring of strategic cloud engineer how did you apply what were the different number of rounds and how you finally landed the offer Okay so uh, it's basically a strategic cloud engineer strategic cloud engineers are basically the technical leads of a customer project like if a customer or a company wants to shift to google cloud so the strategic cloud engineers are held responsible for basically provisioning that transition like we will be responsible for designing their infra like what services they can go with so these strategic cloud engineers have a overall view of what gcp is and how it can be used by the customers so a, a recruiter directly contacted me like if i was interested in this role and i said yes and that's how the process started there were four rounds all of them were on the same day and all of them were elimination rounds and the first one was of 15 rounds but for me it was like around 30 minutes and they asked questions around networking like latency network bandwidth and all these the next round was again like 45 minutes round which was an rrk round like role related knowledge again the questions were around networking the questions were like what is netstat what is dns tll field and what are the factors that you know uh, that affect the time taken by a website in loading so most of that was around networking the third round was around data structures i was asked a question on data structures and there were some follow up questions on that the fourth round was an hr round i was asked questions like what kind of work environment i like the most and basically you know like uh, if i if i have various tasks how will i prioritize between those tasks and which how i'll assign those tasks to various employees and there were some like okay. general hr questions and yeah that was the one so if i talk about the level of data structures and algorithms in your third round so how was that like if you if you would consider it on a on the basis of lead codes difficulty levels so what was the difficulty level of uh, the data structure algorithms interview you can say like it was a medium level question medium level question great 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 and you've talked about uh, the process of google like what exactly this role defines and what all a strategic cloud engineer does apart from that you also mentioned that you had offer from microsoft so you had a software engineer profile software engineer role at microsoft so what was the process behind microsoft how did you actually got this off campus opportunity at microsoft and like how was your experience experience so uh, like i applied at the portal and then after some time i got a call that i have been like i i can give the test and i received the link it was on codeality two questions were to be solved in 90 minutes and fortunately i was able to solve them and then there were interview rounds there were two technical interview rounds which are solely based on data structures and these were some like easy to medium level questions like uh, the questions were on strings and trees like you need to print all the permutations and subsequences of a string and for tree it was like 
you need to link the nodes the previous you need to set the previous of all the nodes and then the next okay. round was an aa round which is as appropriate so it was a mix of technical plus managerial questions technical questions were like they started with asking some questions on time complexity space complexity then i was given a data structure question then he also discussed about my projects and then there were some hr questions like why microsoft and yeah If you're looking forward to get an SG1, SG2, or SGT role at Amazon, so I have a good news for you. So Geeks has partnered with Amazon, and they're conducting the special contest known as Jobathon on 5th of August, through which you can participate and get into a company such as Amazon for different different roles. For SG1, you need a, an experience of one years plus. Freshers with relevant experience can also apply. For SGT and SG2, also you can get complete information on their website. This is going to be conducted from 8 p.m. to 10:30 p.m. on 5th of, and it would include three questions on DSA and some programming logic MCQs. So make sure you check out and register for this special event known as Jobathon by Geeks for Geeks. Link is there in the description. So what are you waiting for? So like both of these offers you had, you had an offer from Google for strategic cloud engineer, and you had an offer from Microsoft for software engineer profile. So it might be, it might have been difficult to decide between different offers, and this is the case. Like many students face this. So what were the factors you considered while uh, choosing between the, these offers, and how you finally selected this offer of strategic cloud engineer over software engineer role at Microsoft? Microsoft. Okay, uh, so like initially it was also very difficult for me to decide like which one should I go with because at initial time. I also had no idea like what exactly strategic cloud engineers do, so I reached out some people on LinkedIn to know like what exactly they do in this role. And what I got to know was that it's basically uh, like a company is shifting, and then you will have to give them what services we have, and they'll choose accordingly. So it was like what I thought was that that in strategic cloud engineer we're just working on a feature, but like if I'm working as a strategic cloud engineer. I'll have the whole overview of what GCP is, how features, how many features are there, and how the customers are actually using those features. So it's like basically you're getting the full overview of what exactly that is. So like I was also interested in coding, but I thought like this will give me a more generic like this is more this will be like in other strategic cloud engineer me jaungi to I'll be just working in that one feature only. But this was like hmm. more, you know. I'll get to know whole services. So yeah, I decided that. एक बारी try करके देखते हैं इस role को and it looked more good to me. So I decided to go with this one. As far as I can understand, this gives you uh, the business side of things also, along with the technical side of things. Is it? Is it? Yeah, exactly. Like we uh, will be in contact with the customers as well, and in the technical. Aspects as well. Got it. Got it. Got it. Also, you had uh, done your internship at Samsung, right? So, how was that experience, and how did you actually uh, got an offer from Samsung? Offer from Samsung. Uh, it was an on-campus opportunity. Uh, like Samsung visited our campus for six months internship, and then I got selected. There was one round, which was basically okay. uh, which was basically around OOPs. Like there were some many confusing questions on OOPs and. Yeah, like there was only one round, and another was in direct HR call, and I was selected for that. And the experience was really great because I got to work on some like the how ad frameworks work, because I had many पहले कभी उसमें काम नहीं करा था तो it was really a great exposure for me, and yeah, that was really great experience. Great, great, great. So we have discussed about your multiple offers. Now the audience would like to know that how did you started your preparation journey, and what all things you did from where you started, what are the resources that you followed. So if you can share a little about those, little about those. Yeah, sure. So like in the first year, I was also very new to these things. So at the end of my first year, I joined offline classes like in the summers for web development. So that's how I started my coding journey. So I was like, I really liked it. And then in the second year, I started on working projects. I started working on various projects, and then I particip started participating in hackathons, becoming a part of societies. and i also did uh, some freelancing projects so that's how i started like and that's how i completed my second year and then i realized that now i should start data structures as well because that's what companies you know like that's what they ask in their interviews and that's how you will get a job mm -hmm. so in the at the end of around second year i shifted like i was solely into projects and then i started data structures 
तो आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग इट टॉपिक वाइज एक आई स्टार्टेड आउट विद एरेज इन दिन जस्ट सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन ऑन एरेज लिंक लिंक ट्रीज एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग लाइक इन अ मिक्स लाइक आई फॉलोड आई सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ऑन गीक्स फॉर गीक्स एंड लीड कोड एंड साथ ही साथ में आई वर्क on my projects but then like uh, my major focus was on data structures because i have had enough i've done enough projects so like, i just focused on data structures great great so it was lovely talking to you pile like we had got insights into this new role that a strategic cloud engineer i hope people would also have loved the experience and they would also gain some insights on how they can prepare for such roles thank you so much once again for coming here and sharing your journey wishing you all the very best for your journey at google for your journey at google Thank you thank you so much for having me here